Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Big John Fury. John Fury believes that Usyk will turn attention to Wilder and give Dubois a step aside fee. <clears throat> John Fury, the father of WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, believes Alexander Usyk will defend his multiple belts against Deontay Wilder in Saudi Arabia. Fury and Usyk were in talks to have an undisputed showdown, of course, on August 29th, on April 29th, and we all know how that happened. But John Fury believes Dubois would receive some step-aside money to allow the fight to take place. He said, it has been bizarre, but I had a sneaky feeling this was going to happen because of the Saudi situation. They are good friends with Usyk, and I believe they have signed up with Deontay Wilder, John Fury told Metro. He says, I know Daniel Dubois is number one contender, but I won't be surprised if there is a bit of step-aside money coming his, coming his and Frank Warren's way. Tyson didn't need a long camp to face Usyk because he, was never, he, because he has never stopped training. He was raring... To go, but I think they thought Tyson wasn't ready to fight him or didn't want to fight him, but they couldn't be further from the mark. They had a deal and they reneged on it. It is a simple and it's that simple, and I can see why now because they've had a better offer from the Saudis. All will be revealed at a later date, and you will find I'm not far wrong. He'll, Usyk, be making a hell of a lot of money. The bottom line for me is Usyk never wanted to fight Tyson. He had a better offer from Deontay and his team with the Saudis over there. And that is what has gone on here. Let me counterpunch. Um, well, first off, John Fury, it would make sense if the Saudi deal was never in place originally for Usyk and Tyson. For John saying that, John's belief, his uh, whole uh, hypothesis on the Saudis and Usyk, he thinks they're in bed together. So they're in real tight. So that means Usyk was offered a certain amount of money, which is not disclosed, right? <clears throat> and Tyson Fury was not offered the money that he feels that Tyson Fury's worth. That's the whole issue. I think the issue is that John Fury's swaying away from the fact that Tyson Fury was offered a certain amount and he just doesn't know what Usyk was offered. And because he doesn't know what Usyk was offered, he can assume that Usyk was offered more money. Well, my counterpunch is, if Usyk was offered more money, there's none of their fucking business. Period. That's that's none of Tyson Fury's business what Usyk was offered and then vice versa. That's how it works. That deal was more like the DAZN deal that Deontay Wilder back in 2019 turned down than anything else. Okay. Um, I think what we need to realize in this situation where it doesn't matter if Team Usyk believed that Tyson Fury was ready or not. The thing is, if he would have signed, they would have fought him because they know they were ready because they know when they started training, they know when they were prepared <clears throat> and they didn't have time to mess about. And John Fury, if he believes that Deontay Wilder, though, will pick up that bag and they will fight, that would be perfect, you know, um, but I don't see that happening for Frank Warren. I don't see Frank Warren letting that type of power of position go to Deontay Wilder, somebody that one of his fighters has already defeated. I don't see that happening. It had to be a lot of step aside money in order for that to take place. And we know Team Usyk is not going to allow that type of shit to happen. How much step aside money you think they're going to really pay Daniel Dubois being a mandatory? They would, it would be easier to beat him. On top of the only way that that could work is they would give them step aside money, but 
what would it gain to beat Wilder? Well, it would mean a lot morally, but what will it really do progressively? Nothing. Because Wilder, um, he could fight Wilder for the mandatory, but who's to say that mandatory belongs to Wilder any longer? Because that may have just been placed with Andy Ruiz because Andy Ruiz was in place to fight Deontay Wilder for the WBC. So since that's the case, it wouldn't really mean anything to beat or fight or to defeat Deontay Wilder, except for a kick-ass fight with two top fighters. Sure, don't get me wrong, I would love to see that fight. That would be a boss move if Usyk could beat Wilder, let alone stop Wilder, which I don't know if he could stop Wilder, especially Wilder's lost that weight. I think he's fast, he's stronger, but most importantly, I think his gas tank has improved because he's uh, let that uh, that 20 pounds go. Okay, so, uh, but Big John Fury, his whole take on, well, hey, I think th I think they're going to fight with Wilder. Hey, it's a wild idea, but then again, who knows? You know, he has been right in some type of predictions, but not all the time, people. <laughs> but we'll see if Big John Fury, with his theory, is correct. So uh, we just have to wait and see. You guys tell me what you think of uh, Big John's theory on Usyk paying Daniel Dubois step aside money to fight Deontay Wilder in Saudi Arabia. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.